Today I want to take a look at Power Apps Canvas and how we can pre-populate a form with URL parameters. Now this is a simple use case, but one that all Power Apps Canvas could benefit from, especially if we're doing deep links or targeted links and kind of you know, really directing users towards filling out a form. Uh, we can go ahead and do a few different things. We'll set up a dropdown and a text field and populate those with URL parameters. So here we are looking at first, second, third on a dropdown and a simple text field. Now let's say this was making a new help desk ticket or a similar use case. We'll go ahead and do insert button. Yes, and we'll insert button again. So we could have something like a save, a cancel, eh, maybe even a label at the top, insert label. And maybe we want to take these and get them a little better descriptions. Here we could put description, yes. And underneath, we might be able to select something like a category. This could be submit. And this one could be cancel. All right, description, category, submit, cancel. That's our layout. And if we wanted to pre-fill these with URL parameters when the app initializes, we can come over here to the apps on start and we can do a little set var description parameter description. And we can continue with that. And we could do var category and same thing with category. Excellent. So this is going to read the URL parameters during the app on start as a way of getting the values into memory. There we are. And for the default value on the text field, we can come over here and we can set that equal to var description. Yes. And for the default value on the dropdown, our category. So we've set the default property on both of our fields, bar description, default property, bar category, and we have an app on start, which is reading both from the URL parameter. Now it's time to test our application. And with all of our app on start ready, what we can do is go ahead and play the application and add more URL parameters like description equals hello world into our address bar. And with our app on start ready, we'll go ahead and publish our application and then we'll test it by launching a new window. And now with our application published, we'll go over here to the sharing icon and we can find the URL for our application. This is a URL to the Power App directly and we can take that and we can view it in WordWrap. And here we're able to append extra parameters so we can add and description equals hello description and category equals first. So here we have our standard Power App URL, but we've added a description and we've added a category. So those are going to be extra parameters that we can feed into the system. And here you can see it picked out hello description and first. Very cool. And just to kind of test it and make sure everything is going well, we can change that to second. Hello description two. Copy that. Bring it into a new tab. Very cool. So here you can see that we're feeding in two parameters from our URL as a way of pre-filling both a text field and pre-filling a dropdown. So with this simple implementation of using the app on start event to receive the URL parameter, we can provide users direct links and save them time for filling the form even faster. Thanks for watching.